Now we're going to learn a real classic, right from the beginning of jazz. It's called the St. Louis Blues. And it's a blues progression, kind of like C.C. Ryder and uh, Careless Love. But it moves a little differently. So it's a really good challenge for you. Not really hard. The only thing that's probably pretty challenging will be F sharp 7. If you remember your bar chords, you bar the second fret and you make the E7 model. Now let's take a look at the chords of the St. Louis Blues. This is our second song by W.C. Handy, really one of the real pioneers of jazz and blues music. Now you can see that we're just playing our uh, chords we already know pretty well and then that F sharp 7 down at the bottom is barring the second fret playing the E7 model. It's uh, four beats per measure, so at the bottom, those two chords inside a measure are two beats each, just like before. Now let's look at part two. So in part two, E and E7 become uh, E minor. And everything else isn't really so different. Down there at the bottom, the second to the last measure where you see E7 and F sharp seven with ones below them, it is four beats in the measure, but I want you to just strum those chords one time. So it's one, two, and then again, F sharp seven, and then four. So you only one strum per two beats there, but I'll show you. There's a little third part. Let me show you that. So this is the third part. Not really so different. Here's the first section of the St. Louis Blues. The first section is played two times. And here's the second and the third section of the St. Louis Blues. So let's look at a couple of the transitions in the song. When we go from A7 to F sharp 7, my first finger's ready to make the bar. I make the bar and make the E7 model. Okay, let's try that again. A7, F sharp 7. That might take a little time. You're going to have to be patient with yourself again. Here we go. A7, bar, E7 model, second fret. One more time. Good. Now, let's look at F sharp 7 to B7. Here we are, barring the second fret with our E7 model. And now let's make a B7. Now, of course, I've done it a few times, so it's kind of smooth, but you'll get it. We've barred the first uh, finger on the second fret. And then I lead with my second finger and get everybody in position. One more time. And, and one last time. Now let's try the three. A7, the bar F sharp 7, and then B7. One more time. A7, F sharp 7, and B7. Now work on this a little before you try the whole song. Make sure you get this. Let's use E7 as an introduction for two measures, just like usual, to get warmed up before we start. At the very end, there's a B7 chord. Play through that, and then for the last beat, the ending, play at E7, kind of like that. I want you to be real careful of that F sharp 7. Remember, it's bar the second fret and make an E7 model might have to work on that for a while. Now I really want you to get this song and work on it this week. Try to memorize it and really get the feeling of the blues in here. It'll take a little time. Now when we strum, strum like this. Da, 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 da. And once again you can use a pick, the back of your fingernails, your thumb. If you use your thumb, strum like this.
Okay, so let's give it a try. One, two, three, four. I hate to see that evening sun go down. I hate to see that even sun go down. It makes me think of my last go round. Feeling tomorrow like I feel today. Make sure you practice this. Really take your time and get into the song. 